What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Sunday afternoon. Uh, just doing some work at the office. About to head on out of here and just wanted to make the first of a couple of videos for the week. And let's start off with uh, Gavin Lewis and his publicity stunt. So basically, and I'm going to be honest with you, I had talked about talked to Gavin a couple of days before he got arrested because he let me know that he was going to open up his gym and he already had the expectation of being arrested. And of course, I joked around with him, you know, if I if he had gotten arrested, that I would bake a cake with a with a hacksaw in it so he can get away. Either that, I would drive the car into the uh, jail wall there. Now, while I was joking, I was very serious with Gavin about it there, you know, as far as opening up his gym is concerned. But, of course, he went and did it anyway, and he got arrested. And, you know, some people also asked me about the whole situation, and I've not re I've really held off on comments because I wanted to go and see what happened. So, was it a publicity stunt? You damn right it was a publicity stunt. But, is that really a bad thing? The answer is no. The reason being is when it comes to publicity stunts, it actually elicits, you know, public change and public sentiment as well. Not only that, Gavin, I've known him for many years. I've made fun of him for a couple of, for half of those years. Uh, you know, first time we ever met up, it was uh, when he was working for ALR Industries. He also went and worked with Iron Mag Labs, which that's I, I think that's where our point of contention was at one short period of time in the almost 20 years that I've actually known Gavin. But, you know, at the same time, uh, you know, I think this is a good thing. You know, part of publicity stunts is to take uh, action. Uh, now... I've seen people up there, you know, try to uh, word in a couple of things for him and be his advocate, you know, up there saying that it was sort of like the Martin Luther King marching down, you know, and let's take, let's be real serious here, okay? This wasn't for civil rights, this was for simply opening back up small businesses. Now, it's very important that we do open up small businesses. That is true, but you know, you can't, you know, compare, you can't compare opening up a gym to uh, the civil rights movement. So let, let's just cut that mess out basically. Uh, but I can definitely understand Gavin's uh, contention because here's this gym, he still has to pay, you know, fees for the building. So he's losing a lot of money so it's very important for him to open up a gym. And not only that, you know, it, 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 it kind of surprises me that a gym is classified as a non-essential business. A gym sells supplements and, you know, you can't stay healthy and in shape, you know, without a gym. It's a place of health. It's not a bar where you're up there drinking beer and getting drunk and falling over the place and singing Hank Williams songs or anything like that. It's a gym. You get in shape and you stay healthy period. So as far as things are concerned, I think the latest update is that he's not going to get arrested anymore, but California is still going to be under lockdown. Nothing has really changed. And, you know, as a result, you know, even with opening up the gym, he's going to be very hard pressed to get some business. So Gavin, unfortunately, is just going to have to hang on as well as a lot of other small businesses. And, you know, I, have to, I actually have to honestly see both sides here. You have small businesses uh, trying to stay alive, and then you have the governor being held liable if anything happens uh, to people. He's responsible for any deaths that occur due to the coronavirus. So it's a very touchy situation, but ultimately, at the end of the day, I think this will come out in the wash. But Gavin, you know, I'll 
I'm going to holler at him on Monday. And, you know, we'll go over a couple things. Uh, and I wish the best to him and every other small business owner. Uh, even to myself, although, you know, South Carolina has pretty much opened back up everything. The gyms around here open up tomorrow. But, you know, I just can't think of something statewide. I have to think of it universal. Uh, you know, this is a nationwide issue and it needs a permanent solution to it. And I hope it's solved very soon before everyone goes out of business. That's all I got to say today, people.